So this knife is the Crawdaddy Forge Zydeco. Uh, it was sent to me for review and critique uh, by Crawdaddy Forge. It had a couple stops before me. It's got a couple stops after me, so I'm getting it right in the middle. Um, I think the main thing was he was wanting to know about this sheath and what people thought about the new sheath design. And uh, honestly, I love this thing. It, uh, I had the Crawdaddy Forge Skeeter Hawk 6. And um, one of the things about it is with the leather, that leather opens up and loosens up over time and use. So with this having the strap on it, you're not you're not gonna lose it. I mean that's in there solid. It's got a little bit of wiggle, but not much. And uh, so I, this is just a really good idea. Um, also, he set it up for scout carry. So both of these come undone, unsnap. So when you're wearing it on your belt, you, you loop it through your belt, you snap it down, and it's good to go. So you don't have to, when you get in a truck and sit down or something, it doesn't poke you with the handle. Uh, speaking of the handle, it's Cocobolo wood with copper pins and tubing, and it's a, a, a rasp file knife. That's where you see the pattern on the inside of it. And uh, it's got a hollow grind with a secondary bevel, and that's, that's a really, really good grind for this kind of knife. Fits in the hand good. I like that the choil's right there to where you're not going to slip up on it when you're really... Uh, doing hard work focusing down on it um, for such a small knife I mean it's pretty it's pretty substantial um, I wouldn't put it through a whole lot but like if you're trying to split wood down to get to like dry wood in the middle or something you know something about this size so, do it real quick let's see it's not a problem at all and uh I wouldn't go a whole lot bigger than that, but that's just my personal preference, and I wouldn't do it unless you absolutely have to, uh, like if you're trying to make a fire in a wet situation. But I mean, look at that. Just, that, that grind is so good for outdoor tasks. Um, it would just be a great knife to carry on you every day. And uh, with, with the sheet set up, I, I don't think you'd have a problem doing that. Um, it's so comfortable. You know, I mean, if worst comes to worst, you can loop a uh, lanyard through it, Wear it as a neck knife, you could wear it on your belt as a drop sheath, or you could wear it scout carry. So you got three options just right there. Or just slide it down in your pocket and it's not going anywhere. Uh, like I said, it's Crawdaddy Forge knife. Uh, I've had a couple of them before. Great quality. Uh, he does great work. All I mean, you can look at the stitches on it, it's all hand sewn. Uh, it's just all around good knife. And uh, as far as the critiques on it, the only things that I would change is. Uh, the belt that I tried it with was a fairly wide belt. I would make these two straps here maybe a quarter inch longer, just so you gotta, you know, if you're trying to accommodate a bigger belt. And I would make this piece of leather right here just a little bit thicker, because it, it, it makes me nervous a little bit. So I would make this just a little bit thicker. But, uh, you know, the quality of this thing's top notch. It's got a welt down here in the middle of it. It's just a great knife uh, and a great sheath set up all around. Uh, and what would, oh, the other thing, uh, I would finish this spine, I would put a 90 on it for when you're uh, throwing sparks off a ferro rod because that was one thing I tested it with. And uh, I didn't get great sparks, but I got enough to actually get a fire going. So uh, those are the only two things I got, uh, a 90 and make these two straps just maybe about a quarter inch longer. Other than that, uh, it, it's top notch. So. And like I said, I've owned Crawdaddy Knives Forge or Crawdaddy Forge Knives. Um, both of them are great. And uh, this is another one in the line. And it's the Crawdaddy Forge Zydeco. Look him up online, Crawdaddy Forge.